everyone. This is Christian Frades, and I'm holding a copy of the director's cut of Daredevil, directed by Mark Stephen Johnson, and starring Ben Affleck, um, Michael Clark Duncan, and Jennifer Garner, as well as Colin Farrell and John Favreau. It's a pretty underrated movie. This director's cut is the best version because it focuses more on the depth. Because I remember seeing the theatrical cut back in February 2003, sometime before my birthday, and it felt like a mess because there was too much Jennifer Garner as Electra Nachos. Maybe they were doing it to promote Electra in advance, and the editing felt a little awkward because there was a sex scene that happened after um, Daredevil and Electra first met, and that doesn't fit right. In the director's cut, they rearranged it and made it more natural. And I approve of the director's cut better, much better than the theatrical cut, because it's Mark Steven Johnson's unsung masterpiece. And without this film, then the band Evanescence wouldn't have a career, because two of their greatest hits, specifically Bring Me to Life, were in this picture. And had the soundtrack not been a hit, then Amy Lee wouldn't do her singing career properly. And I approve of Michael Clark Duncan's acting as the kingpin. Well, he is kind of tough. And I would eventually voice the kingpin in an episode of the Spider-Man animated series back in 2003. Yeah, gosh, rest his soul. And I know a lot of people say, oh, go watch the uh, Daredevil show, but I'm personally a pre-MCU and DCEU guy, so not my cup of tea. And I highly recommend this as well as Ang Lee's Hulk because they're both dark and depthful and ahead of its time. Thanks.